everyone, welcome to my channel, The Mental Traveler. I'm Carol Herrera and today I'm going to be reviewing a TV series that's called See, The Beginning of Everything. It tells the early life of Zelda Sayre, better known as Zelda Fitzgerald, wife of the famous author F. Scott Fitzgerald. It starts Christina Ricci as Zelda and the first season has 10 episodes and each one is about a half an hour long. It aired at the end of January 2017 and if there is a second season I shall be watching it and reviewing it as well. I believe that the title is inspired by something that Scott once said about Zelda, that she was the beginning of everything for him. And before I begin, let me say that this will be a video without spoilers, so sit back and enjoy! Along with thousands of others, I'm sure, my first introduction to the Fitzgeralds was through The Great Gatsby. I first saw the film from the 70s with Robert Redford and Mia Farrell when I was a teenager and I fell in love with it. I've read that book and I also read when I was in high school The Beautiful and Damned. Anyways, Scott Fitzgerald is not my favorite author, but I love films where he appears or he's talked about. For example, Midnight in Paris and Genius. I am fascinated by how was he not only a great writer, but because he was alive during the Great War, the Roaring 20s and the Great Depression. And being a history lover, well, this appeals to me. Anyways, regarding Zelda, I really liked her in Midnight in Paris and the portrayal of her that's shown there as this sort of source of energy for Scott, who, who could not help but feel drawn to her. But to be honest, I have never really cared that much to learn more about her life because I know how it ends. And that particular sort of tragedy is not one that really appeals to me. I'm kind of scared of it, actually, whether it's fiction or real life. Still, when I saw the trailer for the beginning of everything, I I really 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 liked it and I decided it was time to get to know a bit more about this legend. The first season starts during World War One, before Zelda has even met Scott. She's a southern belle, feisty, full of life, who isn't afraid of saying anything that's shocking, so long as she gets what she likes. I think that the first episodes of the series were my favorite, actually, where they are showing her as a southern belle and how her neighbors were condemning her because of her shocking actions. But though maybe this could be because I love the American South. Anyways, moving on, the show goes on to portray how Sam Scott made his courtship of her the early years of their marriage, their first fight, uh, and actually I wasn't as entertained by them as I thought I would be because they were a bit too real for me. I liked the illusion that Midnight in Paris had created of God being head over heels of Zelda and yet here even though he still loves her we see so many fights in their marriage and I don't know it was just sort of shocking and I guess I have to get used to the idea that not everything for them was easy. So in the end I give the, the beginning of everything a 3.5 out of 5 stars review. It's sort of historically accurate but not a hundred percent but it was a letdown that the marriage between these two people wasn't as interesting for me as I thought it would be. I don't know if that's because of the acting or because I don't like how things turn out for them in real life as I watched further and further into it. I thought that Scott was really unjust to Zelda and sort of demeaning her natural light. But anyways I am looking forward to watching how Zelda was this feisty young woman in the early episodes of season one and how she changes into the troubled woman I know she becomes. But in the end I love period dramas and this one it was pretty to watch. The costumes were beautiful, the landscapes were nice, the settings too. But yeah I, I was more excited watching the trailer than I was watching more than a half of the first season. At the moment I can't think of anything else to say about this TV series but I hope you enjoyed my video and even if you didn't please let me know. I'd like to talk to you about the Fitzgeralds in the description box below you can find the IMDb page for the TV series as well as a link to its trailer, the one I really really love. Anyways, I hope you have a great day wherever you are in the world. I'm Carrera, the Mental Traveler, and I'll be seeing you soon. Goodbye!